I have a very big Jewish identity. This is um, something I picked up from my mom, who is like the most Jewish person on earth. Look at my latest <laughs> bake pan. Bake. My sister, though, her kids are not being raised Jewish, but my son is. I think it's a pity that they uh, won't know anything about it. But they will eventually, because uh, they will notice certain things. And uh, they are also good friends with Michael, and he talks. Yeah. So the questions will come. It's their life and their decisions, so it's, it's all good. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. But uh, I, I like this part of, of life. Me and my mom worked at a Jewish summer camp. Ten days in a kitchen with all the Jewish little kids, making them food. So I know my kosher, I just don't do it. It actually can be complicated to live even a traditional Jewish life. You can't even get kosher meat, just in a little freezer in Oslo. I think it is important to know your background. My mother was pregnant in the ghetto. Yeah. With you? Yeah. And they were called out to be uh, put on the trains. Um, they were just called out and the, the, the Wallenberg people were standing on the side and telling, walk slowly, because today they only need so and so many. And uh, that's what she did, and that's uh, partly how she survived. To me kids, they were uh, Holocaust survivors. Yes. When I got 10 years old, we were sent to summer camp. And that's when we met other Jewish children for the first time, because uh, otherwise we were the only family in town. Why? Yeah. Why? Because there is nobody there's here. There's no one here. They give birth to like three Jews a year, yeah. you know? It's no one here. Last week we had an incredible event. For the first time since before the war, we know at least 80 years that a new Sefer Torah was inaugurated and completed in Norway. We had the Sefer Torah march down Karl Johan Gatte. I was there. I was marching. Yeah. <laughs> and crying. The rules and the laws that came out of that space. This is where the about. Nazis marched when they exactly. actually invaded yeah. Norway, Oslo. This yeah. is the same street. And here we are, 70 plus years later, dancing with a new Torah. I thought it was it was it was a, it was come full circle to see that we can actually live that type of identity in public. It felt like individuals who are coming out of the closet for the first time. One of the best things with my childhood was the Jewish community, my Jewish friends, the feeling of being special and having something else that no one else had. I knew that the second I was, uh, had the children, the Jewish person in me would like blossom. <laughs> 